Hey guys, it's Sensei Matt here from West Bank Karate Academy. Hope you guys are having a good one. Today we're going to be going over our half blue belt kata, Matsumura Rohai. It's a big step up from Pinan Shodan, so I wouldn't recommend you practice it until you've locked Pinan Shodan down pretty solid because it's a little tricky. So yeah, practice hard um, and just follow along the best you can. And yeah, let's do it. So we'll start. Musubi dachi, hands at your sides, let's get ready. And for this kata, we're going to set our hands in front with our fingers on top of each other with the left hand over top of the right hand. So we're setting here. Not like this, not straight down, but like this. Okay, so from here, we're going to soften our knees just slightly and push our right foot out to Shidentai stance and then open the hands pointing downwards like this, keeping the elbows locked in. From here, we're going to bring up our fingertips about the same as shoulder height. And important is that your elbows are inside, not out like this. So keep that tension between your elbows and your torso. From here, we're gonna look to our right. At the same time, we drop down into Shikodachi and Shutuke lower, okay? So I go H here. Make sure the knees are pressed out, the posture is straight. Okay, from here, I look to the other side and I turn my right foot as I twist my hips into cat stance facing this way. So I look, someone's coming, turn the foot, turn the cat stance, and then catch. Like almost like soto okay, but then open hand. Okay? From here, shift, shiko that chi, and hook punch about the same height as your chest. I just say 90 degree, 90 degree here. So it's like a square. But my head is still this way. Okay, let's do it from the beginning again. So we'll start here. I itch. Ni. San. Look. Itch. Ni. Okay, so that's the first part. From there, we don't have too much room, so we'll do the best we can. I'm gonna look to the front. I'm gonna stay the same height as my foot comes in, heels on the ground. And as I pull back, I stand up nice and straight. So I'm here again. Look in up. And make sure your glutes are really squeezed, your heels are pressing into the ground. Back is straight and elbows are pinched straight back. From here, you're gonna check with your left foot on the ball of the foot. So I'm not stepping in cat stance or anything. My foot is just straight, but I lift my heel up. I go one, then I step two. One, two, same finish here. Again from here. One, two, step, step. From here, I look 45 degree angle over here and someone's attacking from me. I bring my front foot in and back opposite. So I'm going, moving this way. And then my other foot comes up here. So I wanna keep my hips level. My toes are pointed downwards and my knee should be going straight right now. So that's my lower body. At the same time, I look, I'm gonna swoop and block. So this one is basically the same as a head block, but it's closed. And your palm is outwardly or outwardly rotated, so your palm is out. And this one here is like you're doing Gidambarai, but open, so shuto, like this. So same time, look, itch. Then from here, down, turn. Soften, turn. Big mistake that a lot of people do when they're learning is that they just go stomp, like this. No, no, from here, you bend the, support, bend the supporting knee, push the foot out, and then your elbow stays here, and you just whip your hip, square. And then it's the same as Soto Uke, but open hand, and your back hand is supporting, pressing just on the elbow here like this, keeping connected to the body. Here, and go. Okay, one more time from here. Look, escape, back. Good, continue. From here, we're gonna take this hand like we've blocked a punch. We're gonna grab, and at the same time, we start to step through, setting for Tetsuyuchi, striking with his hand, 
Open your chest, pull this hand back, and then hook punch again. So I'll face, I think this will be easier for you to see. Here, one, open, one, two. Okay, here back to the original way, open, step, one, two. Now we've gone this direction, we have to go that direction. From here, I look to the other corner, I step back to the same spot where I was. Look, step, so that my body is facing this way, and now I do the same block facing to this corner. So my knee is facing uh, straight here, my block is going 45 degrees to the corner. Then same. Then step, turn, grab, one, two. Okay, so same. From there, I'm gonna move back just a little because I know I need more space. So from Shigarechi, I look to the front and I step in and out to Shikorachi. Same time, my pullback hand is going to come set and I'm going to push down. Like I'm pinning someone down and then from there, I punch straight down without leaning too far forward. I want to keep my back fairly straight, tuck my chin down and just look like this. Okay? So the timing is more like this here. I look, step. Set, punch, down, look up, same pattern, in, back, block, look, in, then down, block, open, step, one, two, okay, so I think the main pattern of this kata is similar to Pina Anita and Pina Shoda in that you're going diagonal, diagonal, and then forward with the same kind of technique. If that helps you remember, I think that's good. It helps me. Um, we'll do here one more time. So look up. Escape each. Knee. Open. Sanshi. Let's continue. From here, I'm going to step forward into the Kutsudachi. But important, I have to make sure that my arms come down, where my elbows are pinning into my body. Don't let them sway back like this. Stay solid. Here, and then as my foot goes out, my hands lift to be the same as your hips. Not flat like this, but straight. So no bend up or down, nice and straight here. Step. Then back. Key point, keep your back heel on the ground here. I'm gonna pull back. Tsumitsubidachi, right arm comes back, left arm tucks across your body like this. Then I'm gonna bend, step out left foot, and rotate my hips and punch here. Shoulders should be the same height, nice and set. This one is gonna be in front of your nose. This one is gonna be anchored close to your body, right underneath, and there will be a slight bend in the bottom arm here. Okay, then we come back, up, other side this time. Bend, step, turn. Back. Oh. So this technique is done three times. And if it helps you to remember the order, when you're setting, the one that punches high is going to be coming from pullback position here. When I come to the other side, now this one's going to be coming up, going up high. Whereas the other one here, the one that's in front, is just going to turn here like this. Okay? So practice from there. Um, let's pretend we're on our third one now. So we're here. After my last one, I'm going to kick out my back foot and I'm going to shift back into cat stance. At the same time, I'm going to set for shoot okay, but this time instead of my pullback being here, right here. Okay? So again, is then I turn my front foot, bring my back leg up, kick down, shoot okay, knee, and we come up and bow. Okay, so just full disclaimer out there 
I encourage you to practice learning using this, uh, this video. I think it will be helpful, but nothing will be able to beat kind of the one-on-one -on -one technical advice from me actually seeing you do the kata, seeing you do the technique and giving you feedback based on that. So please practice hard, but then either wait till we're at the dojo to show me in person so I can critique you there, or if you're really keen, send me a video of you doing the kata. Again, I'm more than happy to come and help you out a little bit. So yeah, please take advantage of that. Now we're gonna be doing the kata all together smoothly, one take. Matsumura Rohai. That's not the kata. So that's Matsumura Rohai, our uh, half blue belt kata. Uh, I love this kata a lot, it's one that our dojo uses to compete, so hopefully you enjoy it as well, and I hope the video was helpful, and again, really just feel free to film yourself doing the kata and send it to me, I'm happy to give you some feedback on it, okay? So practice hard, keep it up, and I hope to see you soon. Bye guys!